Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to point domain to website in GoDaddy. So how do you point that or how do you get that done? The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your GoDaddy website. And in case you do not have an account, I'm going to show you what exactly to do. Launch any browser of your choice. And at the top corner, you're going to find the search bar. In the search bar, type GoDaddy.com. And it's going to take you right into the official website for GoDaddy. Right there at the top right corner, you're going to find the sign up button. Click on that and follow through with the processes to create an account. Now, right there, you're going to be asked to either create an account manually or create an account automatically using Google, Facebook, or Apple. Now, whichever one you choose, once you create an account successfully, it's going to take you right into the fantastic homepage where you can now navigate through a lot of options to have a great experience on GoDaddy. All right. So, now that we're here, let's hop into today's stats. It's pretty much simple. How to point domain to website in GoDaddy. You're going to have to do that. All right, by the way. So from this home page, all right, you're going to see at the top corner, domain names, which is the whole thing, email marketing. And you're going to see your profile name. Mine is Amanda. So click on that and you're going to see an extended menu. My product, winners and billions. Go ahead and click on my product. And once you click on my product, it's going to take you to the my product page. And then from there, we're going to see how we can definitely point our domain to website. So from here, all you need to do is to select domain, head over to the domain category. So here you have domains and now go ahead and click on manage all. So mind you, I do not have any domain yet, but I'm just going to show you what exactly to do. Just follow me. All right. So, so this is the page for the domain manager. All right. So this page is still loading up. All right, all right, all right. Do, 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 do. All right, so perfectly. So here you go. So I do not have a domain, so there's nothing of that sort here. Okay, so because I do not have a domain, so but it's not going to be difficult for me to um, definitely let you in on how it should be. So if you have a domain, you're going to have to select the domain name, the exact domain that you want to um, point to. All right, so click on the checkbox because you're definitely going to find the checkbox like this just right beside every domain. So click on it. And then once you click on it, you're going to see from this bottom corner, you're going to see quite a few actions. All right. And then the last thing you're going to see is more. All right. So click on more and then you're going to see an extended menu, then choose forward. So once you click on forward, it's going to open up a window that will prompt you to enter the HTTP URL of the website you want to point your domain to. Now select, once you do that, of course, after entering the HTTP URL of the website, you want to point your domain to select the forward type that works for you because they're going to point out, they're going to show you um, different options of um, forward types. So select the one that works for you. And once you do that, that'll be it. You'll be good to go. So when visitors enter your website, they will be redirected to the website that you have pointed them to as you have entered the, the exit website that you enter the HTTP URL four so this is pretty much it all right so you can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped you search